Hi, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Louise, Adrian's wife, and I've finally been persuaded to uh, show people how to make a simple salve. Um, so first of all, I'm going to do a primrose salve. So you just need permission of landowners, pick carefully, pick responsibly. So I've picked a handful of the flowers and the leaves. And what I've done is I've placed them in a jar and I've filled the jar and covered them with olive oil and I've placed that on a sunny windowsill for a fortnight and now it's time to turn it into a salve. Okay, so what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is strain off, I've got a bain marie, homemade bain marie here, uh, the water's heating up quite nicely, all I'm going to do is strain off the oil into the bain marie and just squeeze out anything else that, any residue and we're just going to heat that up gently and all we do is we slowly add beeswax to this heated liquid okay so now it's beginning to reach temperature it's heating up nicely is that oil what I'm doing is I'm going to add a hundred percent pure beeswax, make sure it is and no additives in it, that's all that we've got to use. And I'm just adding little bits at a time because it varies, you know, the setting point can happen quite quickly. And to reach the setting point, all, I've, all I do is I've got a, a glass of iced water and you will see later on how we do this. If it rolls into a ball, uh, when it's set, if I drop a, a drop in and it rolls into a ball, that means it's going to be a salve. If it spreads and sits on the surface, it's more of a cream, okay? So we'll see that in a, in a short while, but first we've got to add the beeswax. So we melt it gently. I'll just turn that down a little bit. So we're just slowly melting this beeswax, um, just to, to get it nice and heated up. The oil's heating up nicely. Incidentally, um, the primrose salve that we're making is full, uh, primroses are full of salicylates. Uh, it's good for rheumatic pain and muscle cramps and that's what you're making this salve for today. You can also make this with daisies which is really good for bruises. Um, it's a very simple salve and if you stick with the rule of just sticking it on a sunny windowsill for a fortnight, and then heating up them in a bain marie that's brilliant you can even just use it as an oil rub you don't have to add the beeswax if you don't want to okay so just to let you know uh, the different stages of the wax um, the beeswax going from a cream to a salve what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you the drip test of what happens when it's going to be a cream okay Okay, so I'm just going to drop the beeswax in, a few drops, and you can see it spread right across the surface there, um, and that's going to make a cream, that's going to be soft enough for a cream, and, but not the salve. Right, so we've added all the beeswax now, um, we've added approximately two ounces of beeswax to a half pint of liquid oil. Uh, so now it's time to just do the drip test, okay? Okay, so we're just going to drip it in slowly. And there you can just see it's forming a little ball. It's spread a little bit on the top, but if I just get it out, I'll be able to show you what it's like underneath. So, I've got a bit of a peak in the middle there, and that will create a salve that's spreadable and will set nicely. Right, so now we know it's a, that it's at the right setting point. All we're going to do now is uh, pour it into these small pots and put the lid on. It'll set quite rapidly, so that's all we're going to do now, okay? Okay, so just pouring it up. It'll set, like I say, it'll set really quickly. I just poured it into a jug to make it easier to pour. As you can see, it's setting in the jug now anyway. 
we might have enough for six. If not, it's probably going to be four. But that's okay. As like I said before, um, the primrose salve is full of salicylates. We'll keep the lid off actually which is um, the main ingredient for aspirin and it's an anti-inflammatory yeah. as well. Right, so all we've done is we've left it to set and now we've got 100% um, natural product. Um, so we're just going to rub a bit on hand there. This is good, again, like I said, for rheumatic pains, achy joints. It's uh, an anti-inflammatory as well. So all I've, I hope all I've tried to do is take the mysticism out of preparing something very natural that you can use yourself. Thanks for watching.